Well, earlier we looked at number theory and the different types or the different sets of numbers. And this is a class activity where, that we're going to be doing and to show basically how we can represent those numbers on a number line. Now, as the instruction states, use a number line to graph the following sets of numbers in each case. All right. Now, the first set of numbers that we'll be graphing, and, and this is really basic graphing. Okay, guys. Now, the for, the first set of numbers in A is natural numbers less than seven. Now, basically, from what we have learned, um, what natural numbers are, we would know that natural numbers starts at one, and they increase. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And they go, they, they really goes up to infinity. Now, if you notice this phrase, and if you are not sure about these less than or greater than or greater than or equal to, I would recommend that you watch our playlist on inequalities. That playlist um, explains a lot of these concepts quite clearly. Okay, good. Now, natural numbers less than 7. Now, if I'm speaking about natural natural numbers I'm really referring to these numbers it's natural numbers less than seven so if it's less than seven the natural number the first natural number that would be less than seven would be six now so I would circle six you notice I circle six there and then I would circle five because five is the next natural number and I'm moving to the next natural number which is four and then the other one would be three and then the next one would be two and the next natural number would be one now natural number starts at one so if I'm dealing with natural numbers that are less than seven then I would have to start at the natural number less than seven and I would have to stop at one because that's where natural numbers begin okay now moving on that's how we would graph that on a number line now part B states that we should graph whole numbers greater than negative 2 and less than 6 so the this is the key thing that we're looking at whole numbers greater than greater than this is the important term there and less than also so if it's greater than negative 2 but remember I am dealing with what kind of numbers I am dealing with whole numbers okay so that's very important so since I'm dealing with whole numbers and I know that whole numbers starts at zero, then I have to start at zero where whole numbers. I have to ignore this negative two, you know, and, and start where whole numbers begin. So whole number starts at zero, so I'm going to start at zero. So the first digit that I'll circle is zero, and then the next one is one, then I'll circle my two, then I'll circle three, then four and then five now look carefully it said whole numbers greater than negative two so the my whole number would start at zero because that's where whole numbers begin and then it is less than six so i would have to stop at the whole number that is one unit below six which would be five okay and and that's it that's how you graph Part B. Now, Part C, we're speaking about integers between negative 4 and positive 3. Now, if I'm speaking about integers, I know that I'm dealing with both negative and positive whole numbers. And the boundary that they gave us, and, and this is critical again, it states that between, okay? So, my boundary, one of my boundaries is at negative 4, and the other is at positive 3. So, I'm going to pick up all the integers that that lies between those two boundaries because it didn't say that negative 4 is included or negative 3 it said between so my integer here would be negative 3 then negative 2 then 1 then 0 then positive 1 and positive 2 now if you notice I have circled the integers or I have graphed the integers that are between these two boundaries negative 4 and and positive 3 are excluded all right good moving on uh, <coughs> sorry no in part D we're asked to graph even numbers greater than or equal to 
okay so this is the key term that we're focusing on greater than or equal to four or less than or equal to 18. now if you notice on this in, um, number line i am going up in um, increasing in units by two so i'm from start from zero two four six eight i'm going up by two because i'm dealing with even numbers okay so always draw your number line to suit the kind of information that you're dealing with okay now or to represent that information now if i am graphing even numbers greater than or equal to four notice the term now it's greater than but i have an or equal to four so that simply means then I'm my, my point that I'm dealing with includes four because it said equal to so I must circle four okay and it's less than or equal to 18 so since it's less than or equal to it simply suggests then that 18 must also be included all right so I'm picking up all the values include from four to 18 so I must circle 6 8 10 12 14 and also 16 so since it said greater than or equal to it simply means then once you see equal to it's 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 included that boundary the 4 here in this case would be included and also it's less than or equal to 18 so it simply suggests then that the 18 would also be included now part E I'm dealing with counting numbers greater than 5 now counting numbers are numbers we use when we are counting for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on now if they want if they're asking us for counting numbers that are greater than 5 okay they said greater than so I can't start at 5 I must start at the next counting number above 5 which would be 6 okay and then I would circle 7 and then 8 and then 9 10 and I can stop there but look what I'm gonna be doing now what I'm gonna do here I am going to put an infinity sign here because they said they wanted counting numbers greater than 5 then when I place when I've after I've circled a couple numbers in the sequence or the first several numbers in the sequence then I would have to put my infinity sign to suggest then that I am not stopping at 10 I am going I'm going to infinity I'm continuing I'm continuing along that trend okay now that's it uh, it's that easy if you have any questions in regards to this exercise feel free to post your comments or ask your questions and I'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye